Hi everyone, I'm Hamza, the CEO and co-founder of Stable, and we're moving post-op recovery from the clinic to a patient's living room. This is Linda. She's a great friend of mine from university, and when I met up with her before coming here to New York, she was recovering from an ACL surgery she sustained while falling while bouldering. Now, when Linda was discharged from the hospital, she was expected to recover over 12 weeks, and to ensure she did so on time, she was given a set of exercises to start performing immediately as soon as she got home and in between the post-op appointments she has twice a week. But when I asked Linda how her recovery was going, she said she wasn't following her recovery program, that when she got home, she found the exercises boring, confusing, and there was no way for her to gauge her progress. So more often than not, she just didn't do them. And her surgeon and physical therapist have no idea. If Linda continues down this path, at her six-week check-in appointment, her surgeon will realize she is way behind schedule and she'll need at least three more weeks of treatment to get functionality back into her knee. And if it prolongs even further, she'll need to be readmitted into the hospital and need another surgery. For Linda, this is a case of unintended consequences. But she is not alone. Last year, 92% of patients failed to complete a post-op recovery program and it cost hospitals $27 billion. Enter stable. We are a post-op digital health platform focused on patient adherence. Through stable, patients can recover from surgery from the comfort of their own homes, but still stay connected with their medical teams. Stable allows providers to increase remote engagement, monitor patient recovery, and most importantly, treat more patients. Stable leverages computer vision technology from just a laptop camera where we're able to track a patient's joints as they're performing the recovery exercises to collect valuable biomechanics information like range of motion, adherence, and recreate clinical care by giving them the cues they need as they're performing their exercises. So if Linda's recovery was falling off track, Stable would notify her medical team and they can easily jump on a quick telehealth call and address the barriers to her recovery immediately so she stays on track. But aside from Linda, we needed to know if hospitals actually needed stable, and the response we received was astonishing. Our first partner, the United States Veterans Health Affairs, jumped at the opportunity of using stable to extend access to care to the nine million veteran patients they cover. Through a five-month collaboration of co-designing and developing our solution with 40 of their clinicians, we're excited to announce we flipped that opportunity into a pilot within two of their facilities. Stable is also contributing to a clinical study at one of Canada's top research hospitals where, where, where we are collecting the valuable information and data we need to support commercialization in the coming months. But why wait months? We just signed our first private orthopedic surgeon this week with the first patient going through Stable's recovery by the end of this month. But before we talk about Stable's future and how opportunistic it is, it's time we look at our individual pasts. Everything is coming home now, entertainment, food, and healthcare is no different. The home has become the remote clinic. 50% of patients prefer to use telehealth if it meant it will save them time or money. And 60% of providers have adopted at least one digital health solution to improve the care that they provide their patients. In the coming years, surgeries will become ever more common to support the aging population. But hospitals are already 20% understaffed with the clinical staff they need to manage these patients' recovery making stable the only solution. Of the eight million surgeries that were performed last year, 20% of patients were readmitted. If we solely focus on the, those patients that at home post-op recovery complications, stable will be able to generate $7 billion in savings for hospitals while generating $250 million in revenue. Stable's bringing an end to preventable readmissions, but that's just today. Our technology is ever improving and continuously evolving. And in the coming years, we'll be able to predict a patient's post-op recovery outcome before they even go in for surgery, allowing hospitals to reach new levels of efficiency they've never been able to do so in the past. With my background in digital and physical health and Abhinav's technical expertise, it speaks to our ability as a team to get so much traction in just one year of operations. We're already working with some of the nation's top healthcare providers. Stable is giving providers the ability to treat patients once they've left their facility. 
It's giving hospitals the financial savings they need to grow. But most importantly, it's giving millions of patients recovering from surgery the ability to live pain-free lives while still recovering from home. We're currently fundraising a round that's already a quarter of a way committed, and we look forward to connecting with everyone after our presentation. Join us if you want to contribute to revolutionary healthcare innovation. Thank you.